Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we're talking about using really affordable parts to create a modular accessory system for your camera setup. So I love the Arca Swiss system. Um, I much prefer it over other quick releases because it is very affordable, it's very secure, and it's a smaller form factor. So instead of these giant plates, you get these nice small metal setups. Um, and while I was messing with a cage setup for an upcoming video, I came across this really easy way to mount different gear and quickly swap out your entire setup. So um, the way this is gonna work is you're probably gonna need a cage, so I'd recommend checking my other videos or Small Rig is a good brand if you just want a generally decent cage and we're going to be mounting a Arca Swiss clamp on top of your cage. So now we can mount any Arca Swiss plate on top of the cage and camera. Um, the next thing is to find a nice long Arca Swiss plate and everything I'm talking about in this video will be in the description and all of these parts are between five and fifteen dollars so it's really affordable to set up a pretty complex uh, versatile setup. So to mount gear on top of our camera I'd recommend starting with a really long Arca Swiss plate. You can get these in 100 millimeters, 150, 200, and even longer. Um, and what's nice about these is they have quarter 20 bolts that you can thread through them, mount different accessories that way. And there's also tapped female quarter 20. So you can pretty much mount anything. So on this simple example, I have a top handle mounted as well as another Arca Swiss clamp, just like the one that's on top of my cage. From there, I can add another quick release plate and uh, interchange these on the fly. And that's what's really awesome about this setup. A lot of the time we don't need every accessory we own on our camera. Often we're doing audio specific tasks, monitor or rigging specific tasks, video recorders, battery solutions, several different things, but we don't always need them all the time. So here I have this setup. I'm going to go ahead and clamp it to the top of the camera just like so. The other cool thing about this is each one of these attachment points can slide. So let me turn my camera over here. Let's say I put a ridiculously wide uh, lens on this setup. I can simply loosen it and move everything further back like so. Now um, for this monitor that I have mounted right here that is on a quick release plate and I can independently move that one from the other setup. So it's really, really versatile and gives you a lot of flexibility. Now in this setup I'm using a top handle for moving things around with a monitor. Let's say I'm gonna sit down and do an interview setup and I don't really need to have this monitor on here. I can simply remove it, set it aside and grab this little audio interface that I've talked about in a different video and a microphone that is also on an Arca Swiss plate. So now I can grab this whole thing, slap it on here, and now we're set up for audio. I can plug this into my camera, um, move this further back if I need to. So the only two things you really need is Arca Swiss clamps and Arca Swiss plates all kinds of different sizes for each of them and lots of mounting flexibility. So set up for your monitor, your audio device, a power solution if you don't need a big bulky setup all the time, um, other additional handles, even follow focus systems, so much flexibility and again these parts are really really cheap and you can use them like they're supposed to be used as quick release systems for cameras and then whenever you're ready just to go down to a stripped down body and lens only system all you have to do is loosen one knob unplug everything and you can completely remove it from your camera so i know it's a short video but i thought this would be helpful for those who are looking into dealing with all these accessories and how to mount them to your camera um, really great affordable way to get that taken care of so that is going to do it for this video you can find links to everything we talked about in the description below um, all the different pieces and parts that i'd recommend but definitely go jump on amazon and you'll be able to find all kinds of different uh, versions of these parts otherwise you can watch fresh videos here at DSLR Video Shooter every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.